Imagine for a moment we could bring Charles Darwin personally back to the table for this conversation uh, in view of what uh, you've just pointed to, the, the, the problem of new forms of life, if you like, appearing that don't show any direct linkage with evolution, uh, the sudden emergence, so to speak, but also the incredible complexity you've been talking about, the information contained in DNA. How do you think he would have responded to what we now know and the challenges or the holes, the gaps that are still there in evolutionary theory? He was plainly a very intelligent man. Plainly. And uh, his book was beautifully written. And it was a masterpiece of, of scientific argumentation based on the evidence and uh, observations that he had made at the time. Uh, but it, it did acknowledge certain difficulties that have only become more acute over time. One of them was the this discontinuous pattern of appearance of new biological form in the fossil record. I wrote a whole book called Darwin's Doubt. Darwin's Doubt was about the adequacy of his theory to explain an event in the history of life known as the Cambrian explosion, where you have the first major explosion of new animal form in the fossil record, at least the majority of the, the, the animal body plants first arising. And Darwin openly acknowledged that he, he could not explain that, that, uh, that, that class of evidence in 1859. And I show in the book that that problem and many related problems have only become more acute in the ensuing 160 years. Um, so it, it's hard to speculate on, on uh, how Darwin himself would have responded. I would hope that he would be enough of a scientist to follow the evidence where it leads and not be uh, beholden to the rule of methodological naturalism, which would prevent him from considering the design hypothesis. I think one of the interesting things about Darwin's work was that he was very much engaging the other side of the argument in his work. He was aware of the long tradition in biology of um, science-based, bio uh, biology-based design arguments. And so many of his arguments were posed as counter arguments to those uh, other arguments which were part of the tradition of, of bi the biological sciences to that point. It, many of what, what, what I call uh, Darwin's current public defenders uh, are not as open-minded. They want to act as if those arguments don't even exist and that just it's uh, to be a scientist is simply to, to read a materialistic conclusion into every, every observation. And uh, I think Darwin was a bit more open than that. In fact, he was very open in acknowledging the problem of the Cambrian explosion and also the difficulty posed by the functional integration of parts in complex systems, which is uh, something that, that uh, contemporary intelligent design uh, proponents have picked up in works like Darwin's Black Box by Michael Behe, the, these miniature machines and circuits that have many parts that are functioning as an integrated whole and do not admit gradual change without defect to the whole, the, the origin of which uh, are very difficult to explain uh, in, a gradual, uh, in a gradual way.